Hello, my name is Salon Mitchell, and I play the flute. My name is Corey Sittinger, I play the marimba. Today we're going to introduce Kambang Suling, or Flower Flute, by the New Zealand composer and percussionist Gareth Farr. This piece is a musical snapshot and interpretation of Southeast Asia through classical music instruments. Kambang is Indonesian for flower, and Suling is a bamboo ring flute from the Bali region of Indonesia. In movement one, flowing melodies in the flute and marimba start out as one musical line with precise rhythms, identical registers, and musical modes or scales of the music known as gamelan. The instruments eventually stray apart to become more independent. These lines interweave and become more impassioned until eventually evaporating into calm and stillness. The musical soundscape primarily consists of the same scale later transposed. In movement two, the Western flute imitates the Japanese flute titled Shakuhachi. The flute creates long haunting melodies backed by supporting chords in the marimba. As the arc of the piece unfolds, we encourage you to imagine your own story and imagery. In movement three, the marimba establishes a complex rhythmic foundation known as the tala or rhythmic cycle of South Indian classical music. It repeats throughout the movement as an ostinato. See if you can figure out the rhythm in your head. During each cycle, the flute creates its own improvisatory variation with a fun, frenetic finish. Now this piece has become a standard in the repertoire for flute and percussion, and it's clear to see the composer's love for music from Asian countries along the Pacific Coast or Pacific Rim. Originally from New Zealand, Gareth Farr was actually introduced to gamelan music from a visiting orchestra and music school over 30 years ago. Clearly the group made a lasting impression for his compositional style. Now, when I'm playing the flute with the marimba, I have to be very much aware of intonation or tuning since the pitch on Corey's instrument is fixed and will not change no matter how much I may want it to. The marimba also has a very dark, rich sound, which challenges me as the flutist to match him with a full, pure, and even sound that can't be too airy. And when I'm playing with the flute, I have to remember how different the instrument is from mine in terms of sound capabilities. The marimba, while it can be beautiful, is extremely percussive in nature. So in this piece at the beginning, I'm trying to blend as much as I can with the flute sound. Generally speaking, when I do this, I'll play with a much softer touch to give the effect of legato sounds, which aren't necessarily possible on the marimba. Now, for recording this piece, it was a fun challenge to do apart from each other. We decided to use a click track for the first and third movements so that we could be in time with each other, even from far apart. What we did was for the first movement, I recorded my part with the click track, and then Salon recorded his, his part while listening to mine. That way, he could react to what I was doing in the music, and we would be in time together. We did the same thing for the third movement. For the second movement, we switched positions, and Salon was the leader. We did this because the second movement, the flute, plays a more prominent role, and the marimba is just backing chords. So I followed what he played to record my part. Now for editing all this together, for the audio, I use a software called Studio One. All I did was take the audio from that we each did separately and line them up together and then exported it as one audio. Then for the video, I put the video and that audio into Adobe Premiere Pro. It's one click to sync up the audio and the video, and then I just have to decide which parts of the video I want to show at which time. There's a mixture of split screen where we're both in view and parts where you can only see one of us. All in all, this was an incredible experience for both of us. It's a new challenge that we were more than willing to face. We couldn't let this piece go, so we decided we needed to record it. It's been great to explore some of the music of Asian cultures, and we had to share that. We hope you enjoy our virtual performance of Kambang Suling.